Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabita billah The question arises how do we deal with heartbreak and heartache and all of us as human beings we experience this sometime in our life. We experience hurt, suffering, fitna or trials and tribulations in our iman, in our deen, in our life, in our relationships. How do we deal with that? And similar to iman, it is dealt with by coming to the Quran establishing your tie to the Quran because the Quran is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is communicating to us what he wants from us how we should relate to him subhanahu wa ta'ala who he is tabarak wa ta'ala and what should we be doing and how we should interact with others all of that is in the Quran and establishing the love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's contained in the Quran. So how do we increase our love for Allah Azza wa Jal? How do we increase our Iman? How do we get over that heartache that we experience or are experiencing? And again, it's establishing those ties with the Quran, reading the Quran often, often, every day, as much as you can. Devote time in your life, in your schedule, to read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Secondly, dua, lots of supplication. And this is a part of establishing your love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that you're crying to Allah, that you're not crying to the people, okay? It's okay, you need, we're human beings, we have social interaction, we need one another. At the same time, you wanna make that tr true trust that true relationship in Iman is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that true tawakkal, a tawakkal ala Allah. And that love and muhabba, the muhabba that is, a, a, that is an act of ibadah, that's only to Allah. So therefore, the mu'min deals with the heartache and establishes their love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by crying and pleading to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding your affairs, regarding your difficulties, regarding your heartache, regarding your struggle that you're going through. Crying to Allah in the depths of the night, making tahajjid, getting up in the depths of the, of the night when it's quiet and it's serene and it's peaceful and you can establish your tie with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you can come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you can feel the, the comfort with little or no distractions that's a beautiful time to continue to develop your relationship with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and all of that feeds into your iman that Ihsan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, the Prophet sallallahu said, In ta'budullaha ka'annaka tara, fa in lam tukun tarahu fa innuhu yaraak. It is to worship Ihsan. It is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if you see him. And because you can't see him, know that he subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you. So cry and establish that to the unseen, to the one you've never seen. But you believe he's there and you know he's there because he created all this beautiful creation. He gave you another chance at life. He gave you another chance to heal from your heartache. He gave you the family. He gave you all the things that he's given you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So be grateful by thanking him and worshiping him and him alone. Give him his right. The Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith of Mu'adh ibn Jabal he said that the right of Allah upon his servants that he worships him and him alone and doesn't associate partners and the right of the slave upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that he doesn't punish him for, you know, if he commits no shirk. So, by actualizing your tawheed, 
by truly worshiping Allah, and that's increasing your, your ibadah, doing acts of worship, small kindnesses. All this is going to heal because when you give to others, and especially when you do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this helps return good back to you and goodness to fulfill. You have to fill your heart with ibadah, and that's fill, filling your love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's increasing your love. It's a reciprocal relationship. It, it, it just increases. And if you come running to Allah, Allah, if you come crawling to Allah, Allah will come running to you, as is in a hadith Qudsi. So increase your ibadah to increase your love. And remember, tawakkul, as the, uh, some of the ulama mentioned, a tawakkul ala Allah, itimad ala Allah wa fi'l asbab. It is putting your trust solely in Allah and taking steps. So you have to take steps to heal. When you have heartache, you have to take steps to heal. What kind of steps can we take to heal? As I said, those Iman boosters, reading the Book of Allah and the Sunnah and the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, increasing your ibadah. Also, finding things that help fulfill that void. The void of loss, of the heartache. What can you do? Me, this is what I do. This is what I do as I come out to these beautiful places that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala has blessed me to be able to come and I'm from this land. And this is places I can go to when I'm back here to enjoy and breathe real fresh air, to enjoy the peacefulness. I'm the only one out here that I've seen today, especially coming through the way I've come. And just have that time to yourself with Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala, making dhikr, reminding yourself of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala, and reflecting and finding serenity. So you have to find an out, uh, a, a means of releasing yourself. It could be through exercise. That's also, for me, I like physical. So I do, I love to exercise. I love the outdoors. I love to use my, <laughs> my thing. And so those are things that I do to enjoy, to release. You have to have a release, you have to have an escape. And all of it's halal, you're looking for mubah things, things that will help you, as well as with the dhikr, as well as the other stuff. This will fill the void, because you need to remove the distractions. If you sit in your home, and you only think about the hurt that you have, you'll just be covered with hurt, and it can destroy you. Some people don't make it. Some people, they kill themselves. Some people, they destroy themselves with drugs and alcohol. Some people, they just do, do muharramat. But the mu'min heals his, his self or herself through ibadah and returning to Allah, reflecting on their sins, making tawbah, coming closer to Him, uh, and doing some halal, lawful things that they can enjoy to help fulfill the loss that they've taken. And the final thing is time is the most amazing thing that Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the time. Well, asr, inna l'insana lafi khusr. By the time, it shows that the time is what? It's very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, the Prophet sallallahu said, do not curse the time. So time heals. It has a special place in Islam, a special place in how we uh, calculate our days and in, in our life in the dunya and using your time wisely and in good and knowing that time heals. How many of us had relationships in the past, either divorces or even other relationships, but time healed the hurt. Time heals the hurt. Or you lose a loved one, they die, whatever the case may be. Time, it's time that heals it. It's, it's, it's first and foremost, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His mercy, but it's through time that it you, you, you begin to accept it. And that's the adaptability that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given humankind. So strive your best to busy yourself with good. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa